Okay, I'm going to record this. So on Monday or Tuesday, I'm going to give you guys a quiz, and you will be expected to derive the quadratic formula by completing the square. So let's practice it. What's the first step we do? We're going to subtract C from both sides. Minus, we're going to subtract C, the constant term, from both sides. AX squared plus BX equals negative C. Actually, I'm going to move it over a little. Right? You should be writing this, not staring, because this is what you're expected to do. What would be my next step? Yes? So we're going to divide all terms by A, 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 A. Here it cross cancels. I'm left with X squared plus B over A. And my pet peeve is when you line up the X in the denominator. The X is in the numerator equals negative C over A. Okay. Now what? Yes. We take the middle, the linear terms coefficient, B over A. We're going to divide it by 2. And then what? Square. Square it, which really means B over A times 1 half. And we're squaring it. And so that becomes b squared over 4a squared, right? So I'm adding plus b squared over 4a squared, squared. And I'm adding b squared over 4a squared. What would be my next step? Next step, Brienne. Um, you would just... What do I do on this side? Now that it's a perfect square trinomial, Mike. Take the root of C. I mean, no. X, X. Okay, take the root of yeah. What what do we call this? Factor. We're gonna factor the left side, and the left side becomes. X. Oh, I got so big for some reason. Okay, what does it become? X plus B over 2A. Good, X plus B over 2A squared equals, and then what do I do over on the right side so we can add and subtract them? What do I do on that right side so I can add and subtract? Yeah. You have to have the same numbers. So, so what am I going to multiply it by? 4A. What? 4A over? 4A. Good. And so now I get b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared, right? What would be my next step? Remember, we're trying to get x alone. Yep. Yep, we're going to root both sides. And then we get the absolute value of x plus b over 2a equals the square root of b squared minus 4ac over, I'm going to separate it, the square root of 4a squared. Okay. You guys keep working downward, but I've got to move up. I guess I can do one more. So x plus b over 2a equals, to lose the absolute value, we have to set it equal to plus or minus. And we've got the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over what? 2a. Now I have one more thing to do. I'm going to rewrite it. x plus b over 2a equals plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. What do I do? Subtract b over 2a. We're subtracting b over 2a. And we are left with x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac Oh, wait, I forgot that over 2a, right? All over 2a. 
And then we are doing, which gives us our final, x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Got it? Sorry, that's so terrible. Okay, you will have a quiz on that. Make sure you are ready Monday morning.